Right, hi everyone, it's Chris here, 2E0UKH, and what I'm trying to do is flash the modified firmware onto the MD380 and also program in, uh, flash on all the known DMR uh, contact numbers, you know, so when someone keys up and speaks, it will say their name and call sign and country, uh, you know, rather rather than on the old system it would just say their DMR number now it will say all the um, all their details so first thing you need to do this is all experimental by the way so only do this if you know what you're doing and uh, fairly computer literate um, you can muck your radio up so first thing I did I got hold of the software I went to Google and I typed in K5RAB Pi Images and it takes you to a Facebook page and if you click on the third link down um, you've got these two files to download. You only need one of these files. If the Pi image which we're trying to get to control all this, if you require Yaesu Fusion software you choose the one on the right. If, like me, you don't want that on there, there's no use for it at the moment, you choose the one on the left. So that's the link to download it. And the URL for this site is that there. So if you just want to go direct to the web page, I'll put a link to this in the description, okay? So you've got a, an easy way to get to it. So you go to that website, you download the software. When the software is on your computer, uh, I'm on Windows 10 computer here. When it's on your computer, you have to unzip it and it's in a folder there. That's the actual folder. That contains the firmware and a few other bits and pieces. I downloaded the, uh, the Win32 disk imager and this is very basic. You run the software and you've got a point to the source of the uh, image file. So you click on that and it comes up with an explore window. And mine is on the desktop, you've just seen it. So it's on the desktop and it's in uh, probably in that folder there. Hold on, let me just find out. K5, right, I've, I unzip, I've already unzipped it, so K5RAB, it's in that folder there, and you choose the file, I double click on it, and, and it launches the software, and then basically you, um, you choose the drive you want to burn it to, so on my computer I've got the micro SD card in a little reader in one of the USBs on my computer and it so happens it's D. Now before you click right, because that's all we've got to do here, click right at the bottom, before you click on that you must make sure you've got it, you've got the right drive because if that's an external USB drive with all your music and videos and stuff on, you'll destroy that collect you know that data so make sure you got the right drive when you have you click right and a percentage will click up will tick up sorry and it will take forever mine took about 10 15 minutes and then you've got a working SD card that you can put into a Raspberry Pi so this part of the video takes you up to making the SD card ready to go over to the Raspberry Pi.